Nickel 3-3 Cub Blitz setup. I think this is one of the best blitzes in Madden right now. I want to break it down for you. We are in Nickel 3-3 Cub out of the Raiders playbook. Going to be a quick video, but something I was kind of messing around with, and I think it's actually really good. So really important is this is a man-to-man -man based system. You can run zone with this if you want to. It would be it would take some tweaking uh, to make zone really, really good out of this alignment that we're going to show you. But it's really good for man-to-man. -man. We know that man-to-man -man is the meta. If you want to get my 3-3 Cub defensive ebook, it's on our school community page. I'll put a link to that in the description for $10. You'll get access to all of my Madden and NCAA offensive and defensive ebooks. You get everything for $10. Link is in the description below. Auto flip off, auto alignment on man, option defense conservative, and then zone coverage on match. Now, we're going to be calling Mike Blitz zero, but we are going to be flipping the play. Okay, we're flipping the play. We come out and flipped every single time, and we adjust out of this play. We don't really go to other plays, okay? Okay, so uh, because you have a nickel set and because we have man line on, if they flip, notice the man alignment follows the slot receiver. Okay, so who are you going to use her and why? Well, it's kind of up to you. There are some choices that you can make. I tend to want to suggest to use her the safety right here okay and the reason why is because if i was to so the blitz setup is we're going to press we're going to spread our d line we're going to qb contain and then we're going to slide this guy to the right now if you hit um so so when you slide this guy to the right you can easily get back to the safety what this allows you to do is this allows you to press this tight end with this tight with the linebacker and then you can kind of come down in here and essentially what should happen is you should get a nice little A-gap loop rush, super good blitz, okay? So the cool part about this blitz is you can also get this blitz if you want to use this guy. So let's say we're going to use this guy, the same exact setup, right? And we get exactly the same result. Now we'll also say, I'm not convinced you have to spread your line to set this up properly, so if you just wanted to spread your linebackers, the main thing is you want to get this guy over here. Notice his blitz angle never changes. So I like to get him kind of over in this area. And like I said, you can use her, this guy if you want, okay? And you could throw Lurk Artist on him and in, in, in Mutt or in Regs, just put a, put a you know, Lurk Artist linebacker there. That's fine, okay? But what I like to do is use this guy in coverage because oftentimes he's going to be manned up on the tight end. Now, let's say we're going against a flipped bunch. So now what we would want to do so we, let's say they flip their bunch on us. This guy's manned up on the tight end. Notice that when they flip, this safety becomes manned up on the tight end. So all we need to do is we're still going to be pressed, right? Everything's the same. But now we want to man this guy up on the running back and then peel back onto the safety here. Okay, super simple. And the blitz screams in, as you can see. And you can get the blitz to come in sending four, sending five. You can even sometimes get this blitz to come in sending three. So the way you would get this blitz to come in sending three is you would – put lurk artist right here and lurk on this guy. Um, if, and this can be a linebacker and mutt. If you don't want to do that, then you can just put him in his own, right? Just put him in his own. And then this allows you to lurk on the safety. And oftentimes this three man screams, as you see right there. So this is one of the many reasons why I think throw three cub is very well, uh, very much. So the best defense in the game. Now, if you, if you spread, I feel like I'm actually honestly having a little bit more success without spreading. So just come out, press slide this guy to the right, user anybody on the right now the other thing i wanted to say you don't have to hover so like if i stand over here watch this this blitz comes in you don't have to hover so you can use anybody on the field that you want which really opens up a lot of possibilities let's say they audible over to trips we'll go over that real quick so again i'm not shifting anything moving anything i was spreading my line but i actually think the blitz works better look at these blitz angles this is what makes this blitz so good so all we're doing is we're pressing we're sliding this guy to the right then you can put everybody over here in coverage so what i like to do here is often if, if i'm playing trips i'll probably click on and user this guy here so we'll go man up man you can actually man this guy up on the running back and then throw this guy in the middle third and what it's our user responsibility here our user responsibility is to basically be a curl flat defender over here to the right side. And what you'll see is this blitz absolutely hums. I think this is one of the best blitzes in the entire game. This blitz is so good. Um, and, and the cool part is it's super adjustable. So like you could even set it up like this. You know, this is this would be a, another version. I'd probably bluff blitz this guy. You want to, might want to hover a little bit more if you're sending the three man. But oftentimes that three man can loop right into the A gap. So 
this blitz is super, super good, and uh, I would run it because you can run it with man coverage. Another thing that this blitz does that's really underrated is these linebackers contain really well. So, you know, if I wanted to do this and send five and make sure, you know, I would have a really good contain, you know, then I would just want to use her the tight end, right? Very simple. Uh, another thing I could do is cross man the tight end and, and or we could, we could drop this guy out in coverage and, and run the defense like this as well, and you'll see this thing just absolutely hum. So very, very good blitz, very, very good defense. Again, all we have to do, you literally don't even really have to do anything. Just slide this guy to the right a little bit. Use her, use her the safety or the linebacker. You don't have to hover, so if you want to kind of creep and, and use her back in here, perfectly fine. The blitz will work every single time. So I think this is a kind of a unique little blitz, fun blitz uh, for the end of the year. You know, if you want to use the safety, you know, I don't normally like to use her the safeties, but one of the things nobody realizes about 3-3 Cub, this guy can move off the ball and this guy can move, right? So it's just a – now, when you click off of this guy, he's going back. If you click off of this guy, watch this. If I click off him, he's not going anywhere, okay? So that's another little pro tip with this. But I typically am going to either use this linebacker on the right or the safety. And we're going to play some really, really good defense with this. So I love this defense. It's what I'm running right now. If you want to get my full ebook on it, link's going to be in the description below to sign up for our school page. That's where you get all of our Madden and NCAA offensive and defensive ebooks.